All right, by the title there, I asked Mucho Burrito or the burrito establishment here to make me the fattest, heaviest burrito ever. And they gave me a one pound, 15 ounce, 15.5 ounces burrito. How fat is your burrito? All right, burrito with three meats. We got some guac, look at this. They put it in this, so it makes it look a lot, but really, it's just a spoon. <laughs> I'm exposing you. I'm exposing the food industry. The food industry will always trick you guys. Look at this, see? Would you have it in this or would you have it in a side like that? Having it in a side like that is just a nice little scoop. Having it in this makes it nice and full. Makes you makes it feel good and it makes you want to pay more for it, you know? But when you have it on the side like that, I don't know guys, but when it's in this, it makes you feel good. <laughs> hey, side chips. Okay, chips is quite a bit. All right, it's let's all do this. Meat. We got a nice fat burrito here. We got three meats. We got chicken, steak, and chorizo. That looks good. That looks really good. That actually looks really good. I gotta take a picture of this because it looks so good. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, I also got some salsa on the side too because I got some salsa at home. So I didn't order any salsa because it'd be a little expensive. Start for this. The most expensive is guac ever. <laughs> it has got a nice soup off of this. I've had this before, and I said the guac was pretty much under season. Let's see how it tastes this time. Maybe they listen, I don't know. Soup off of this. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a unseasoned, under seasoned guac kind of guy. Kind of just tastes like avocados <laughs> and tomatoes, and you just push it together, and you call it guac. No season, nothing. Mm. Maybe people like it. Let's do it. Mm. Half a pound of burrito right here. Corta, chorizo, chicken, steak, rice, black beans. We got corn, guac. Salsa and all that goodness. Let's nice. pump this. Close up on this. Man, super pump for this. <coughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know what it is. But when somebody makes my guac or my, my guac, my burrito, it tastes a hundred times better than me making it itself by myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even a sandwich wrap. When somebody makes my sandwiches, it tastes a hundred times better than me making it. You know what's good? Costco salsa. It's not Costco brand salsa, but it's just like a brand sold in Costco. Mmm. That salsa is good. Nicely seasoned. Mm. Mm hmm. Come on, man. Hit it from the back. It's spilling. Mm? You know, the back end is always tastier because all the juices flows down, right?
Mhm. 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 That's such a juicy back end right there, guys. Mm hmm A really juicy back end. Mm hmm Mm hmm Hmm. Juice is all over my hand. Good right. drink. We got this. Mrs. Grace. Island soda. Best thing ever. Ginger ale flavor. Yeah. Sip on this. Quick tap. Look at it. Just smoking. Nice <laughs> soup this. Oh! Damn. If you're a big fan of ginger ale. Excuse me. This definitely is the ginger ale for you. It packs a punch, legit it does. A real good punch. Okay, take some of this expensive guac with the salsa. That's good. Nice, super pop for this. Mm. That's real good now. See how companies try to trick you guys? I'm here to expose that. <laughs> In the cup, it looks a lot, but when you take it out, it's not that much. A little mind trick there. For me, I never fall for that trick. But I guess I did because I got the guac, right? <laughs> uh, tomorrow is Halloween. We're prepping for today. I'm gonna do my best. To make it as spooky as I can for you guys. I got a few friends coming over. Just two, two to three. I'm gonna share some ghost stories. <laughs> Do you guys have any ghost stories? If you have a ghost story, put it down there. I wanna read it. You get scared at night. Another bite of this. Quick time. He's got it nice. I don't know what it is, guys, but I'm getting full. So pumped for this. Mm. You want to hear a ghost story? I seen a ghost one time. In Vietnam. First time ever going to Vietnam. Wait, let me finish this and I'll tell you that. Y'all gonna get scared off of this story I'm about to tell you. <laughs> Vietnam, where my parents lives, there's grave sites everywhere. Uh, yo, back in the day, they didn't know where to um, bury people, so they buried them like, or pretty much between the war, the war uh, years, a lot of people died. They didn't know where to bury um, anybody. Like, they didn't have like a right spot to bury anybody, so they just buried them on the road. Like, when you drive down my village, you can see like 
bunches of graves. Not bunches of graves. It's like random graves on the street, right? So, um, one night, first time ever going to Vietnam. One night, I was sleeping. Like, my grandma always, like, at night, she always, like, tuck in the mosquito nets for me because there's so much mosquitoes. Um, one night, okay? Sleeping. Middle of the night. Woke up. I saw this white, this big white figure, like a big... Oh, I'm getting goosebumps, guys. I'm getting goosebumps just trying to tell you guys. See that? I'm getting goosebumps just trying to tell you guys. <laughs> like, this long, tall, white figure. Like, I was just like half awake, half asleep. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps again, guys. Uh. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't tell you guys this story. <laughs> okay. In the middle of the night, i uh, seen this tall, white figure. Tucking in my uh, mosquito net. I thought it was my grandma for a second, okay? Oh, I'm getting goosebumps everywhere again. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't say this story. <laughs> but that was my grandma. So I looked. I was like, oh, okay, grandma. What are you doing? So bright. She was so bright. Like, bright. White. White. Didn't see the face. I seen, like, a long white dress. Oh. <laughs> I got up. Like, I was just like, oh, what's grandma doing? Then I just, like, laid back down. And I was just like, that can't be grandma. And I stood back up. I looked to the side because that's where my grandpa and uh, my grandma slept. They all just slept beside me on the floor. I don't know why they all slept on the floor, but they all slept on the floor. I stood up, looked to the side on my left. My grandpa was there and my grandma was there. And they were just sleeping. And I was freaked out. I was freaked out. I just passed out. <laughs> then I woke up and told my grandpa and they was just like, Probably ghosts. <laughs> and yeah, that was my ghost story. It's pretty scary. Are you guys scared? What's your guys' ghost story or any um, crazy experience with uh, things like that? And were you scared? I was pretty scared. But I was tired at the same time. <laughs> I was real tired. <laughs> Alright, guys. Tomorrow's Halloween, and I'm gonna make up this house to make it as spooky as I can for you guys to come through. I.